I want to show you a variation of, of the box drill that we do a lot in our one day certification. This particular variation is where the Viper is held in what we call a pre-position relative to the body. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to grab the Viper and I'm really going to hold it at about waist or about abdominal height and I'm going to just hold it there and I'm going to move around the Viper. The reason why I choose a pre-position is to elicit certain reactions in through the tissues of the body. So if I hold it just in front of my stomach, what I'm going to do here is if I hold it still, I'm just going to step away from the Viper with my lead leg, in this case my left leg. As I step away with my lead leg, the hip will follow what my foot's doing. So for instance, if I step away with that left foot, the hip is going to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. If I'm holding a pre-position of the Viper and it's not moving, guess what happens to my shoulders? By association, it's going to rotate in the opposite direction. So if I held my hands facing the camera and I rotated my pelvis away, I also have relative rotation in my spine in the opposite direction. So what I'm doing essentially by holding the Viper in a pre-position with load is I'm driving out and then back and then I'm driving out and then back and what I'm accomplishing is a load to all of the fascia, the skin, and the musculature around the hip, the thigh, and the abdominal wall. And so by going into a load, I'm actually fostering a more dynamic response in through the tissues. So for instance, all I'm doing is, is holding it here, loading it out, coming back, lead leg, or in this case the right leg goes out, and then I come back, and I just rhythmically repeat this pattern. But as you can see, I'm just holding the Viper in front of my body and it's not really moving in relation to the four walls around me but it's moving in relation to my body. So it becomes very important for tissue loading that I'm holding the Viper here and I'm moving around the Viper. So let's remember for some Viper drills it doesn't require that the Viper itself move. I might be moving around the Viper and because of that my tissues are getting loaded such that they can transfer into a more effective position for sport, for abdominal training, for hip training, and it makes me a more efficient just to move around.